I'm Stan Moot, CTO at IBM, and I'm here with Will. And Will, you've got a cool new startup. Tell me about it. Hey, and Human and Digital. Uh, it's the first global talent identifier at the ISO level. And how we got started with this story was that I was running the, interact the uh, Entertainment ID Registry, IDER, a uh, content identifier for the film and TV industry that was Movie Labs, is winning a Gram uh, Emmy Award, not a Grammy, an Emmy Award this October uh, for, for engineering and technical excellence. And, uh, and they uh, got me on this road to thinking about uh, what would it be like if there was a talent identifier. So when I was there running IDER, we were approached by CAA, one of the world's largest talent agencies, who said, we love what you do for content identification for film and television. Could you do the same thing for above the line credits in Hollywood? Could you identify the talent with a machine readable unique identifier, much as you do for film and television episodes and series and seasons? We said, we'd love to do that, but we just didn't have the capital in the bank at the time to do it. And as we all know, the pandemic came along, people changed jobs, life kind of was thrown in, the, the apple, apple cart was upset. Uh, I had left IDER by 21, uh, I was looking for what was next. And so I went back to my colleagues in the industry, I said, did anyone ever do the talent identifier? And the answer was no. And the follow-up was, do we still need the talent identifier? And the answer is yes. So that set me on the path of starting a company to go through the standards process. I approached the same standards body that IDER uses, which is the DOI Foundation. Um, I'll be meeting with them next week here in, in, the, in the Netherlands. Um, to said, we'd like to become a talent identifier for legal humans, uh, like legal persons. They're licensed virtual selves. We see that now with uh, like the ABBA uh, the show in London, the avatars who are uh, seriously making real, virtual people are making real money. And then also fictional characters for Barbie, Spider-Man, Batman, all the Marvel, the DC universes to provide a three-part ontology, a little triangle saying legal, virtual, fictional talent, characters can be identified with a unique resolvable identifier and use it in business transactions as a public ID and then allow for greater verification and authenticity to attest to the authenticity of the talent based on provenance and based on their credits, based on their citations, based on their, what makes them notable. What makes talent notable has to be backed up with resolvable data so that you can say, yes, we have all the credit information and we have uh, verification, we have a, a certainty, confidence that the talent is real and they are who they say they are from a chain of custody and a rights perspective. And also that if you're licensed your virtual self, which has come up a lot with the actor strike, um, that you are going to be compensated, remunerated for your virtual talent's essence, participation, what you give to that virtual world. So it's what we call both is better. Both the, both the, the human and the digital is why we named the company Human and Digital was not, not one or the other, not just digital t uh, identity or human identity, but both. Yeah, well, I mean, we're talking talent here. It's either for talent, essentially. So you've got two things going on in the acceleration zone at IBC. Yes, so we're in the Synthetic Humans Accelerator uh, this uh, today and all weekend long, and also the real-time XR Sport Edge, which is gonna uh, accelerate, which is the mixed martial artists, uh, virtual kickboxing, virtual uh, MMA, uh, in an example on the, uh, at the Accelerator stand. So we went through the authority, you, you know, you're gonna have a registry on that. So I just wanna back up one step because everybody listening to this maybe doesn't know who IDAR is. Who, who IDAR is? Yeah. Uh, the Entertainment ID Registry? Right. Um, so um, they were started in 2010 uh, by Movie Labs, Comcast, Cable Labs, and, and uh, uh, Roby at that time, now then later, later TiVo, Xperia, et cetera, to create a unique identifier for, for film and television content. And they've done so very successfully. And as I mentioned earlier, um, they have been recognized by the Emmy organization for their, their engineering excellence. Right, so when we talk about that with talent, mm -hmm. how does the talent register for that or how will they? We're a B2B service from the start. So it's going to be working with industry partners. We will be announcing our first suite of beta partners today at the uh, Mesa event, the uh, It's Automation uh, event. And we're talking about uh, how they're gonna be using them in use cases and workflows, and also working with our beta partners to define product market fit, to uh, meet the needs of the, the customers that we'll be, be looking to acquire, and also to get that sense of the direct feedback, virtuous cycle of, of iterative software development as we build out the legal, the virtual and fictional talent manifest. 
I think there's a real industry need for this, particularly with all the AI stuff going on. Mm -hmm. I, I, just, I think our timing couldn't be better, but we didn't plan it this way. We just felt like if CAA saw this in 2017 and 2018 as a real need, and they had talks in Hollywood about this, that ultimately it needed to get built. But you know, the past few years have been a little crazy, to say the least. And, uh, and that to standing up a company to do it the right way and go through the standards-based process, we went from application to the DOI Foundation, 14 months from our first application to being granted equal status as what ITER has as a DOI registration agency. Well, thanks for the chat today, Will. It's pretty technical stuff, I admit. But uh, when it comes down to talent getting paid and for honoring both the human and the digital essence and performance and, their, and how they present themselves in the world, I think it makes a ton of sense.